Hi, everybody. Dan DeFederici, Saratoga Report. I'm here with someone you may be familiar with, Katie Hogan of G. Wilger Toys and Games, uh, uh, one of our key downtown merchants. Uh, Katie, you, you look uh, refreshed after a, a you know a busy weekend, no doubt, with with uh, Black Friday, Small Business Saturday. Uh, how how did everything go this this weekend? Uh, we had a great weekend. It was busy. It was fun. We saw a lot of familiar faces. We saw a lot of new customers. So it was a uh, all, all in all, a great weekend. Oh, that's that's good to hear. I, I was out of town myself, so I haven't been down there yet. But uh, funny thing is, my six-year-old daughter, out of the blue, somewhere halfway through our vacation, a little mini vacation, said, I want to go to G. Wilkers, just, no, <laughs> just, just out of the blue. Okay. I guess my advertising is working. <laughs> I um excellent. So I um uh let, let me see here. We've got uh, uh we've got about uh, 25 27 days till Christmas. So that will come quick, folks. And I've said this before, you know, I, I think um uh, the, the box stores have their place. Uh, Amazon has its place. There's no denying it. But if you want the quality gifts and a wonderful shopping experience while supporting a, a, you know Saratoga Springs and Saratoga Springs downtown, uh, G. Wilkers and the many other merchants we have downtown, uh, so many of them. In fact, I've been walking Broadway and I, you know, you lose track. I was like, oh my gosh, there's, there's just a plethora of, of uh, shopping and dining options down here. Uh, that that seems to, do, do you feel it in the store when people are just happy to be in there? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, they walk in, they say, you know, it finally feels like the holidays, it feels like Christmas. And you see like bags from a lot of other places too that they've been shopping. So you really see that they've been going into a lot of other stores on Broadway, which we love to see. Uh, that that that's that's great to hear, and I and I know that. And I always refer to the movie A Christmas Story, where the uh, where the boy is just mesmerized by the downtown department store where Santa is, but it's that front display. And and, and the closest I've ever seen to that from the movie is the G. Wilkers uh, front display windows, which are you know all, always changing. And certainly it's 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 a Christmas. It's a beautiful Christmas theme now. It just boy, if, if that doesn't lift up your spirits, nothing will. Yeah, that's that's the hope. And I think now everybody else downtown too has beautiful window displays, um, especially everyone's really gotten ready for the holiday season. So now just about everybody's, you know, really bringing in the spirit. And and uh, you, you barely get a breather after this past weekend. And now we got, and it's a good thing, but uh, the Victorian Streetwalk is sneaking up on us two days away. Yeah, Thursday, uh, Broadway will be closed. Um, it's from six to nine. It's Going back to it's like that very original format that it was in before uh, 2020. And so, you know, the roads closed, there's a tree lighting, and then there's going to be entertainment all up and down the street from music to balloon twisters to face painters. It's going to be a really, really nice time. And the weather looks mild, so it's going to be great. I caught that. It'll be dry, and that's the key, yeah. right? We can deal with cold. We want a little cold. It's Christmas time, or coming up on Christmas time. But uh, to me, it's it's about keeping dry, and it's going to be a dry that day. Mm -hmm. uh, so that that that'll be fun, and I, I will be there. And you're open late till nine p.m. as as are yep. many other downtown stores. Yeah, and, I think uh, just not everybody will be open until nine. Okay. Okay. I, excellent. And um, well, one other thing, uh, I know, uh, um, I, I I think you've got a couple. Th that's what I love about G. Wilkers. I've been a, I've been a fan and a customer for long long before I've I've known you you or Linda, and um, um, it's because you can get the unique, the award winning gifts. I used to be before before I knew you, I'd go into Linda, and she had such energy, just like you do, and show oh, oh this was the one we saw at, at the toy store, and it was award winning and so forth. And I think you've got a couple neat things to show us this morning. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the first one that we love that is new this year is the code drum. So we've sold the rock and roll and piano for many years, and it's a tried and true. Everybody loves it. Um, but this year, there is the coding drum. Um, so essentially, just like the piano, which teaches you how to play the piano, this is going to really introduce you on how to start learning how to play the drums. Um, it's a rollout pad, a really nice sound. It comes with headphones comes with uh, drumsticks and it even comes with a foot pedal. Uh, there's an ability to plug it into even like a mini speaker or an amp. So you can really, you know, uh, have your whole family listen to it, but it's very cool. And we've even opened one up and tried it and everybody loves it, especially the 22 year old employees that we have here. <laughs> you know, it's funny you say that because I was just going to say, this feels like the kind of toy that has a very wide age range that will yeah. keep everybody occupied at either end of that age range and everywhere in between. 
Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, an eight-year-old uh, boy or girl would love it, uh, just as, you know, your 16-year-old might really get a kick out of it, too. Um, and then you might find, like, you know, mom and dad playing with it as well. So it's just, like, a really cool toy. It has a really nice sound, really sounds like uh, drums. So uh, this is one that we were, we were really excited to find. Okay, you know, I, I uh, that that is one. Uh, I hope you're well stocked because that that I'm not thinking. You know, this could be one or I. I can see my daughter's fighting over it at least on Christmas morning. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Great. And uh, do you have some other things to show us this morning? Yeah. So the other one that we love, which is a little more of like a sciency um, STEM toy, which we always love, are is this is the remote control dinosaur robot. So what I love about this one. And most of the things that we sell is that it's a little bit of a two-part toy. So, you know, that first part is you're building the dinosaur, kind of think of like a Lego, a building toy. And then the second part is that it is remote control. So then from there, you can use it as a remote control dinosaur. You can code it to do different things. So it really is a toy that's going to last with you a lot longer after you, after you just build it. Great. Now, now give me an age range on that one. Um, I would say this one, again, is going to be around that, that eight plus, like, you know, an eight-year-old would really like it. They might need some help. A 10 and 11-year-old would really be able to take off with it on their own. Uh, so again, like a nice range of ages. Okay. Okay. Excellent. And um, I think you might have, uh, enough, sorry if I'm getting ahead of you here, but you indicated oh, you had a, stocking, a stocking stuffer uh, in, in, in your uh, little yeah, basket. In my pile. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So we have tons of stocking stuffers right now. Um, you know, our, you know, everyone knows that little section that we have with all of our little fidget toys. That section is just absolutely full of really fun little stocking stuffer things. One thing that we got that we're really excited about are these little slime charmers. So you'll see it's a little... Is that again? What, what's... They're slime charmers. Okay. My six-year-old is obsessed with anything involving uh, slime. There's six different styles. Um, it comes like a little tube of slime pre-made. And then all these little charms that you mix into the slime with it. And it's all these different themes. Like there's a unicorn one. There's a breakfast themed one. This one's bugs. So there's, again, like a lot of a lot of different themes for every kid, but still really fun for everybody. Okay. I, I should have put a banner up. Breakfast themed slime. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. You never know what they're going to come out with next. <laughs> Ah, excellent. Um, anything, um, um, I'm, I'm going to mention something that we talked about uh, pre-show is you've got a very vibrant Instagram page that will give uh, shoppers really good ideas to, to come in and buy certain things. It's constantly updated. Anything more you want to say about uh, uh, what you're doing as far as uh, idea generators? Yeah, just, you know, follow us on Instagram, really, you know, pay attention to our posts, definitely our stories. We post, uh, you know, stories of what we get in new every single day. So it's really the best tool to see what we have in store at the time and what's new and exciting. Okay, great. Uh, open this Thursday. Don't forget the Victorian Streetwalk folks. Open this Thursday till uh, until 9 p.m. Uh, make sure you stop in. And Katie, did I, uh, is there anything else we need? Uh, anything else I'm missing here? I don't think so. I think that's good. <laughs> Awesome. Okay. Hey, thanks for joining us. Uh, let's uh, same bad time, same bad channel next week, right? <laughs> Sounds great, Dan. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye, Katie. Bye.